Welcome to PowerPoint Tips to Wow, and I am Shelley Fishel. And before I get stuck in to showing you how to wow yourself and your clients, let's have a look at who I am. So I'm an IT trainer with over 20 years experience. That's all I do, teach Microsoft Office. And I'm the founder of Tomorrow's VA, which is an online training portal for Microsoft Office courses. And they are aimed at executive assistants, personal assistants, virtual assistants, helping you get more done in less time. I hold CEDAL and COLF from the Learning and Performance Institute, of which I am a fellow, and I host Virtually Amazing, the podcast for virtual assistants, where we talk each week to guest experts and VAs about their journey and give tips and tricks on how to grow your business, whether that's grow yourself internally in an organization or grow your virtual assistant business. And I recently spoke at, ex at ExecSec Tech. I delivered two sessions there, one word to PowerPoint and one on Teams. So what am I gonna cover in today's session? I'm gonna take a look at ready-made templates. This may be an area that you've never explored before, and there are some stunning templates that come with PowerPoint. You can change your color scheme and make them your own and edit any element of them. And I think it's worth spending a few minutes taking a look at what's on offer. We're going to have a look at design ideas. How can you make your slides look super duper pre presentable, for want of a better word, when you need to create them looking good quickly? And design ideas will help you with that. It's one of those things I rely on because a slide like this, for example, I couldn't have got without design ideas. We're going to take a look at smart art and three things you can use smart art for. One is to banish boring bullet points, two, to create a hierarchy organizational chart, and three, to create a timeline. And finally, we're going to finish up with custom shows. This is where you have a master slide deck with lots of slides in it. When you turn up to present, you find you only need one section. How can you quickly edit that show to show only those slides that you need? And we're gonna see that in custom shows. So let's get stuck in. In this segment, we are going to learn about templates and templates can save you oodles of time. Oodles, it's one of my favorite words. Anyhow, you know how when you're writing a Word document, you will often start from a template for a memo or for a letter or a present or a anything really. And PowerPoint should be no different. If you have standard presentations that you are always creating, then a template is a good idea. It doesn't mean you have to use exactly all of it every time, but at least whenever you create a presentation, you know things are gonna look the same. And that's really important. So I'm gonna show you in this segment how to find the templates that come with PowerPoint. And they are online and you can download them and use them if you don't have a company template. Now, obviously, if you have a branded company template, you're gonna to have to use that. But I want to show you how you can create your own and how you can make them look like your company template anyway. So we're gonna start from the file ribbon up here from the file menu and we're gonna to go to new. No surprises there. Now you'll see at the top are some I've been playing with in preparation for this segment. But what I want to show you is any templates of your own that you've saved are here. So here is my Tomorrow's VA template and I use this presentation whenever I'm creating a new online learning course, these are the slides that I use. And it means that I don't have to recreate this from scratch each time. I've gone in to the Slide Master and I've created all of the layouts and slides that I want to have. So my title, master title slide, master slide governs the font and the colors. And then each of the different layouts has its own design and they're all there so every time i want to create a new slide there are my main new slides and i can just get on with it so i'm going to go to new and this time i'm going to have a look down here underneath these are the office slides the ones that you will get whenever you open 
PowerPoint or in Word, you'll see the Word ones. That's quite nice with the oranges. And then you've got the custom ones. Custom is where your own presentation slide templates live. So you've got custom office templates, your own templates folder. So these are templates that I've created. I've got custom office templates. Again, these are saved on my custom office templates folder on my machine. And I've got document themes. And these are the color schemes and collections of fonts that I have created. And I'm not going to be talking about themes in today's section. So if I come back to Office, I want to talk about how you can find a template for just about anything. So you can click into here and you can actually type search. So if you know what you want to do, education um, presentation, helps if you spell correctly, then it will bring you all kinds of educational presentations that are online. So if you wanted one, for example, um, a full fun educational package, you could go for that one, or you could just choose the generic one, which is what I'm going to do. Then you'll click create and you'll see that it comes ready with oh, quite a number, 19 different slides, each of them looking slightly different. And you can edit this. You can use it as is. You can come in and you can change the pictures. If you can see where the actual image is, there we go, change picture from a file. Let's just go to, let's choose this one for now. So you can see how easy it is to customize. You can type in your, um, let's call this templates in PowerPoint. and off you go and then you'll whatever. If I want to customize this and make it my own to fit my branding, then I'll go to the design ribbon, I'll click the drop down, and I'm gonna choose my Tomorrow's VA orange theme. And then all the colors throughout will be using my theme colors. Obviously there are pictures in here and I can change them. So I want to show you some of the other it's really lovely templates that there are. Specifically, I want to show you in the business category, because you may well be working for an organization who wants a professional looking presentation, not a school type one. And you'll see that there are all sorts here. You've got a pitch deck, a conference presentation, a modern one, a classic one, a winter one, all sorts of presentations. And I'm going to pick um, this one because this is one I've looked at and I'm going to create it you'll see again it downloads and here again are your slides once again to change it so that the colors match my branding I'm going to do that first use my orange theme and you'll see immediately that everything changed. Now I might decide that my theme doesn't quite work for this because I don't actually like the green text, but that's easily amendable. I can change the text on that slide to the blue. And you can see all my colors are working. I can change any picture to any picture I want and Bob's your uncle. And I think that is just such a time saver if I want to add more slides, if you come to the new slide icon, you'll see that there are far more layouts than however many it, um, there are 10 slides, but there are more than 10 layouts. So you could play with these to find the ones that work for what you want to do. So lots of different options ready for you. And what's also really useful to note is if you go into the slide master of one of these templates, you can actually see how it's been constructed. So if we come to the first slide here, you can see that this blue is actually a shape and it's at the back and it's got some text on top and that's a line. So you can learn how to do this yourself by investigating what's going on in the slide master. So again, I just want to show you a couple more of the um, templates here. There's one in particular uh, that I wanted to see. I think it was uh, in presentations. Uh, just give me a second to find it. Um, there's all sorts here. No, it's not in presentations. 
but it's one that I had open which I actually really quite like so if I go back I can't see it in my recent so it must be under infographics because it was an infographic one there are some really useful ones in here um, for example you could have a tree a multicolor tree if you're trying to show relationships between something or group things together and there's even information on how to edit that template again again if I go to the design ribbon and come to colors give it my tomorrow's VA orange then it's all in my branding so I hope you found that useful I'm not going to spend the whole time we have together exploring templates there are too many so enjoy doing all of that I'll see you in the next segment. Design ideas. These are one of my favorite things. Well, actually everything in PowerPoint is one of my favorite things as I'm sure you will deduce. But anyway, design ideas is an Office 365 or rather Microsoft 365 feature. You won't have it if you have a standalone version of Office. So if you're working in a corporate organization, and you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, or perhaps you're a virtual assistant or an executive assistant that works remotely, as long as you have an Office 365, Microsoft 365 subscription, you should have design ideas. Now design ideas are very clever ways for you to make your presentation look snazzy and stunning. And it's some things that would just take hours to recreate yourself. So on the screen, you can see is a mini presentation with two slides. It's the title slide is about Coffee Island, a new kind of coffee experience. And Coffee Island, just to set the scene for you, is a coffee shop that appears in my book about Excel, which is Business Barista, Essential Excel Skills to Streamline Your Business. So what can you do with design ideas so first of all I'm going to add a picture to this title slide so I'll go to the insert ribbon and pictures from this device and I'm going to add this cup, copy copy of this image I've called Café Noir which is the inspiration for Coffee Island now you'll see that immediately design ideas opens up this pane on the right hand side and offers me some suggestions for what I could do to make this slide look stunning and I'm sure you'll agree that is a heck of a lot better than what I had there before. Note also that it's picking up my branding and it gets that from the design ribbon underneath the variations or the variants there are all the colors and I'm using the business barista color scheme so it's automatically going to pick up my color scheme and it will apply throughout and if I don't like any of the ones that it offers me I can go and find some more now this is stunning with a title slide I'm going to go for that one no actually I'm going to go for that one and then I'm going to come back to the one with the picture of the book on it and the book by the way is available on Amazon should you want to go and find it just look for me and you'll see that again it's offering me because I've already added the picture it's offering me some style and I can keep it the same or I can make it look a little bit different but any way I do it it's going to stay on brand because I'm using my brand colors so I'm sure that you'll agree with me that design ideas is an absolutely brilliant thing. So if I come to the home ribbon and start a new slide, you'll see that it also offers me some design ideas when I create a new slide from scratch. So this is going to be a, I'm going to change this to a new title slide, and then it's going to offer me some options. Let's go with that one suddenly in the middle of my presentation I've got a new one now just to mention we're just using the plain office theme here with my colors attached if I choose to start a new presentation based on one of my um, templates then design ideas does work but not quite the same way because the um, because the slide has been modified. So if I pop in an image, let's just go for the coffee cup, it will give me some suggestions, but they're not quite as snazzy as they were on the plain office background. One of the workarounds I've found is to create my slideshow in the office background and then move it across afterwards. 
But there you go, design ideas, great option. We're gonna talk about smart art and we're going to see how to create smart art with pictures, a timeline and a hierarchy. So a few things to be doing with smart art, which is another of my favorite features. Now you'll notice that the title of this slide is Smart Art Banish Boring Bullet Points. And that's because I hate bullet points. I think they're really boring. And when you're presenting to an audience, they don't look very appealing and people don't wanna look at a list like this. So I'm going to add in a new slide here. I'm not going to turn on autosave. I clicked the wrong button. I'm gonna turn on a new slide and I'm gonna call this slide supplies. These are supplies that we need for Coffee Island. And I am going to insert a smart art. Now I've typed the list so that I'll have it to hand. I'm gonna choose insert smart art. And what I actually want to do is find a list one with images. And I'm going to show you why, because I'm going to also talk about icons. And so you'll see that as you hover, you get a name for each of these. And some of them will have pictures. So we can cut to the chase and find the category of smart art with pictures. And there's all sorts of interesting sort of ones, but I just want a listy type one. So I'm just going to go for picture strips at the minute. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Let's go for that one just to illustrate. So now I'm going to click in here and the first item on my list are coffee cups. Now I don't actually want this text, so I'm gonna delete it and this one, and you'll see that that then makes the coffee cups resize to fit this space. And when I click the image, I can either go and find a picture of a coffee cup that I happen to have on my system, and there is one, so we could use that one. And here I'm going to type in the second one, which is office supplies. And again, I'm going to get rid of this one and this one so that it resizes. This time I am going to click and choose from icons. And there is a whole host of icons I can choose from. So I'm going to type in here office and see what it gives me. Well, office supplies, I think a stapler might um, suggest that. So let's pop that in there. And we've got the stapler. Now I can click on the stapler. I've got a little option here. I can change the icon to something else and go back to seeing all icons. I can come to graphic format and change the fill color to one of the other colors from my theme. So let's go with the uh, purple for now. And lastly, I'm going to just add in one more here, which are tables, because obviously we need tables in our coffee shop. So we're gonna to go to from icons, and I'm actually gonna type in here table, and let's see what it gives us. Well, look at that, a coffee shop table, perfect. So I'm gonna choose that one, and there we've got it. I'm going to go to the graphic format, and I'm going to choose another color, from within my theme, I'm gonna go for the blue. You can see now how easy it is to make a simple list look better. Now please disregard my colors, this is just for illustration and I know they're not that fab. We'll go to the design ribbon now and choose design ideas. Now you'll see that it's not generating any design ideas for this slide and that's just because of the makeup of the slide, but sometimes it will. Let's have a look at how I created this hierarchy. This is also using SmartArt, and there's a simple one there as well. So I'm going to add in again a new slide, and in here I'm going to click SmartArt. I can also go to Insert and uh, choose SmartArt from here. Either is the same. Now I'll go to the hierarchy category, and this is where all the different layouts for SmartArt live. And you'll see there's a plain one, uh, and there is another one, that one's got pictures, it's a picture org chart. This one has labels, name and title. This one is in circles. This is another circle picture one, which is what I chose. 
and there are all sorts of other ones that you can pick as well. So let's go for this circle picture one, which is what I used. Click OK and you're ready to go. So I can go and find the pictures from a file. So where is Matt? He is the owner of Coffee Island. It's all his idea. And I'm going to call him Matt. Nice. Then I've got from a file, I'm going to have Lisa. She is the office manager. There she is. And then I've got Bob. He is a barista. Somewhere I have a picture of Bob. There we go. And then I also have Sally. Now Sally is actually Matt's current girlfriend, but we're going to make her another barista. Then underneath Lisa, I'm just going to add Coffee the Monkey, who is the inspiration because it's a coffee shop. Uh, and this one I'm going to remove. Uh, let's call him Coffee. And then we're going to get rid of this. And now we've got, oh, we forgot to name Sally. It really is that simple. Now, obviously, your slide will fit as much as you can fit on a slide and it depends how complex your organizational chart is you might want to do it on a blank slide so that you've got more space and you can resize the smart art from here so if i take away the title and i can resize the smart art and bring it up like that and as i keep adding to it it will shrink to fit the space available I can come into the Smart Art Design ribbon. I can change the colors. For some reason, it's taking a while, but you'll see that if I pick up my primary accents, it changes for the levels. Uh, and I can also change what, the, what it looks like and how it's laid out on the screen. Other things that I can do are promote and demote people. So if I want Sally to actually be on the same level as, um, as Bob, so in here I've got Sally, I can come up to here and click promote, and then Sally becomes a barista like Bob reporting to Matt. So you can promote. The task pane or the text pane down here allows you to work here if you want. So if you needed to add another person, we could have Jim and we could go and find a picture of Jim somewhere in uh, maybe stock images and we could go and look for Jim. Let's just have that one as Jim. Just so that you get to see how simple it is to change. So that's how you can create a hierarchy um, using SmartArt. So the next thing I want to do with SmartArt is a timeline. Now it's you want to create a timeline that shows all of these things going along a line from left to right, and you want it to look really nice. The first thing I have to mention is you need to put it in with the dates first. That's how um, PowerPoint will know that it's to do with time. And it's a bulleted list. So I'm going to um, go to Design Ideas, our friend Design Ideas, and I'm gonna click Design Ideas. And you'll see that it's going to generate some ideas. First, it's offering me some very nice slides with some lovely icons, which also works quite well. And then we've got some that start to look a bit more timeliney, uh, for want of a better expression. Again, it's using my brand colors um, for my Coffee Island launch, and it will offer me all sorts of jazzy up ways. If I don't like what I see, it will find me some more. And I love this feature. What I'm going to do is go to the color variants and I'm gonna choose one of the simple office themes and go back to design ideas. You'll see that everything has changed. And you can see here that it's now offering me some different things for my design ideas. So I'm just gonna undo that because I quite liked what I had before. And um, there you go. So again, some ideas of things that you can do to get a timeline. Now with a timeline, you might have to persevere until you find one, um, depending on what you have set up. But that's basically, it uses the dates to generate the timeline. 
and we saw that right at the start. So sometimes looking for more and more and more designs isn't the answer. When you find the one you want, stick with it. But even if it wasn't a timeline, I quite like this, where I've got the nice little icons that it knows represent what I wrote. So on the 26th of October, we're having the initial get together. And then on the 3rd of November, we're having a business plan meeting. On the 10th of November, we've got an icon that represents the bank. And on the 17th of November, the funding has been agreed. And on the 5th of December, we're going to get to work. So we've got a handshake there. And I think that's, that's pretty nice. This is also very nice, just laying it out differently. So combining two different things there, combining smart art, creating a timeline and design ideas. And you've seen how that works across banishing boring bullet points by, by creating a list. And one last thing, when I've got a, a list like this, I can actually type the list and on the home ribbon, I can choose convert to smart art. And then I can choose a kind of smart art that I want. So let's go for maybe that one where I can add my icons, but let's go for a simple one. Again, I can come into design ideas and see whether there is anything to make it look a little bit nicer than the standard. So we could go for that one, which keeps my branding on point. There you go. So in this lesson, we learnt about smart art, banishing boring bullet points, creating an organisational chart and a timeline. This lesson is all about custom slideshows. Now, I've got a small slide deck here. There's only 14 slides in it. But let me set the scene for you. You may have just created a slide deck for yourself, for your boss, for your colleague, for your executive, for somebody else. And perhaps it's your master slide deck and it has within it 50 or 60 slides that cover any eventuality. Now you give this slide deck or you take the slide deck to whoever is going to present and you toddle off to make your presentation. When you get there, you discover that you're not presenting to the whole organization. So the whole slide presentation is no longer relevant. Only a section of it is. How can you edit that presentation so that you get just the slides you want at the time without having to scroll through them and do all the ums and ahs that will accompany all of that faffing around? So in this segment, we're going to see how you can create something called a custom slideshow. That means you have one master slide deck. It may have several different sections within it. Each section might even have a different design or a different color scheme based on a different slide master, for example. But that's not for today. And then you can create mini slideshows and you can show just the slides that you need. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, here is a slideshow. It's to do with uh, Coffee Island. You'll see that I've played around with it a little bit to make it slightly more realistic. So here's the first slides about Coffee Island. Then we're going to meet uh, Matt and Lisa, who are the founders. We then got a little bit of who the main players are, Matt, Lisa, Bob and Coffee the Monkey. And there's a bit about Bob. And then we go into the other section, which is all about our vision. And these are just some standard slides from a template. I haven't gone and edited them. But you can see that this is two distinct segments. The first by talking about, about them and the second um, about the vision. So let's see how I can turn those into two separate slideshows right here within this presentation. So I'm going to start this time from the slideshow ribbon. And in the start slideshow group, we have the option for a custom show. So I'm going to click custom show. Now at the moment, there aren't any. So I'll click new. And then I get to name it and choose which slides are in it. So I'm going to call this one players because that's going to be about the people. So I'm going to choose these slides, those four slides and add them. And I get the option of moving them around and then I'm going to click OK. I'm then going to create a second one and I'm going to call this one vision. And this time I'm going to add all the other slides to it. Now, obviously, you could pick and choose random slides as well. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to add those. 
and click OK and then OK. And then I would save this and off I go. So now imagine I've got to my venue, I'm going to make my presentation and I discover that I only need the bit about Coffee Island, the, about the players. So I will open PowerPoint like this. I'll have opened the presentation. I'll go to the slideshow ribbon. I'll choose custom show and then which one. If I choose players, it goes into slideshow mode, showing me just the slides in that section. And there we go. I've played it out and it's done. If I want to show the vision slides, so I've arrived and I need the section on vision, I can just show those. And I think that is just superb. And you'll see they're quite nice slides from the template. So that's how you can create a custom show. You can always go also into custom shows here and pick the one you want and choose show. So you're not showing your audience the back end. So you could get set up before you start presenting. So if you're doing this for yourself, now you know how to do it. If you're creating this for somebody else, you might need to show them how to get in and out of that and how to show their custom show. But I think you'll agree with me that that is a superb piece of kit. Thank you for spending the last half hour with me. And I do hope that you learned some very valuable PowerPoint tips. They're gonna wow you and the people you create presentations for. What we covered, just as a slight recap, is how to find and use the ready-made templates. And there are some stunning options in there. We looked at design ideas and how they can help you create stunning slides just like this one without any graphic design knowledge or know-how. We learnt about smart art and creating three different kinds of smart art, turning a bulleted list into a lovely graphic, how to create an organisational chart and also a timeline. And we finished off with custom shows which allow you to create two or three different shows from one slide deck. So just to let you know how you can keep in touch with me. Well, you can email me. I'm Shelley at Tomorrow's VA. You can find my courses at courses.tomorrowsva.com and my website, which is www.tomorrowsva.com. You can find me on LinkedIn, Shelley Fischel, and I love connecting with my audience. And I do share keyboard shortcuts and various tips and tricks over there too. I'm on Twitter. I'm either at Shelley Fischel or at Tomorrow's VA. And of course, Tomorrow's VA also has a Facebook page and not forgetting the podcast, which is virtually amazing. And I look forward to seeing you in a training course somewhere soon.